Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today we're going to talk about a tone and probe. And uh, this is a uh, tone and this is the probe. And it kind of like, some people will look at that and say, what in the world is that? Well, if you're a technician and you're doing cabling, you really need a tone and probe. It's a form of cable identification. So uh, what happens is, is the tone is what it says. It produces a tone and this uh, tone can be picked up by a probe and of course you need the probe because it just can't pick it up any other way so it, it, it's sold as a set nice thing about this is it comes with a great case um, the probe goes in there the tone goes in there it's nice heavy duty nylon type of thing that has cushioning on it and everything else the nice thing i like about this also is it has a place you can put it on your belt. I've never put it on my belt, but you can put it on your belt. You can hook it up somewhere in your toolbox if you like, or you can just throw it in your toolbox and it's very well protected. Let's take a look to see what it looks like inside. Okay, so this is a tone and probe. And of course, one of the things you get with mine as a kit, because I always need this, is this little Velcro thing so you can fold up your cables. Um, now the tone and probe comes with, uh, or the tone comes with multiple uh, things that it can do. It can check continuity, polarity if you're dealing with uh, phone lines. Uh, sometimes the, uh, the polarity of the phone line, if someone hooks it up wrong, gives you some problems. Uh, and of course it can just put out, it can check line one, line two, it can also just do a tone. It has your LED buttons to tell you what's going on in the system. And you also have a little switch in there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a little switch that you can change. And one will give you a uh, whooping sound uh, over and over again, very fast. And the other will do it very slow. So let's take a look inside. We're going to look at a competitor to this product shortly, but let's look inside this one. We looked inside, has a little bit of uh, circuit board in there, it has your little LEDs in there, it has all your cables going in, and of course it has a nine, and not, doesn't come with a 9 volt battery, you're going to have to provide your own. Um, but you just hook up the 9 volt battery, and it goes right in there. You put the cap on, and it, uh, it does everything you need it to do. So let's look at uh, continuity. So let's see what we get with continuity. If I put the, the thing in right there you go. It will show you. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm testing the continuity. So continuity means you know you got a le electrical circuit going through it. So as you can see the red light lights up. So it tells you you got continuity. Now if you have a break in the line and you're testing something then of course you're not going to get that red light. Uh, nice thing about this is you can test continuity on coax and the way you do it is you get one end of the coax and you know it has that shielding on it so you attach this to the shielding one side doesn't matter it's not polarity sensitive in this case and the other to the uh, uh, the center piece coming out the center conductor and you attach it to both now if you have a short in that line you're gonna get a red light but if you don't get a red light that means you don't have a short so what you want to do is you want to go to the other end and connect the center line with the uh, the shielding on the outside of the coax cable and then what you end up with is you'll see a light lights up and that's going to tell you that there's continuity both in the shielding and both in the center uh, pin of the uh, coax cable so it's kind of a neat thing I've had it for years I'm going to show you mine this is mine from years ago looks a little different uh, not much different. In fact, it looks exactly the same. And this is from many, many years ago. Uh, this is what mine looked like. Uh, I did some interesting little things uh, to mine to keep the the stress off the the cable. And you can do the same here. So what you want to do is you want to push this through. You want to make a little loop here, and then of course and you bring down your cable. I'm going to show it to you a little later. Okay, I'm going to put a battery in the probe. 
So you just unscrew, right here it says battery, just unscrew it. And the, the case comes out, you can tell it's a 9 volt battery. Attach it. You know, you, when you do these things, it's kind of tight in these areas, so you got to watch that you don't crimp a cable. So can get it in there right. Now on the probe you have an adjustment here that goes back and forth and you can adjust the volume on the probe. First I've got a tone on. I'm sure you can hear that. So this is the volume on the probe. You can see as I get it away, it gets less and less as I go away. I get closer. So you also get a light indicator. The nice thing about this is um, this is an RJ45, so you plug this into your outlet in the office, let's say, uh, or in the room, and then you go back to where your cables are hanging down, and you can actually you know, find the cable. It will actually come across the cable. You see here? Now, sometimes, especially when you're dealing with Category 6 uh, cables and you're trying to tone those out, um, the, the tone doesn't come through very clear. So, um, this is my uh, butt set that I've had for many, many years. And to tell you the truth, I haven't used it in a couple of years uh, because I've been making all these great videos for you guys. Um, but at any rate, uh, this is my butt set, and uh, this is only like the fourth edition of my butt set. I've had plenty of them uh, from older. But if you look on the back, it has a little picture of a butt set where you can hook up the two uh, alligator clips from your butt set. And then what happens is, on really faint ones that you're going to find in Category 6, it's going to be faint. It'll be hard to track. Uh, what you want to do is you turn on your butt set, and I'm not sure it's going to work because I haven't checked my batteries in years. So we're not going to demo that. But it comes across your butt set, so you put this up against your ear and you can actually hear the tone. Yeah, you know, this is a must have, and if you're a technician, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You probably already have one of these, it's probably getting old, and that's why you're in the market for a new one. And that's why we're talking about quality and we're talking about function now. So uh, let's continue the talk. Um, one of the other things, and I just dumped it out of here, that I really like, and uh, that's the tip. Uh, and this is a, a duck bill tip, and this is what I put on mine. Um, and I use this because I, you know, you get a bundle of cables that are together, and you can stick it between the bundles pretty easily and get deep into a bundle of cables, and it makes it easier to find the cable you're looking for. And I'm going to show you how to put this on here now. So let's take a look. You know, if you don't know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then this is probably not the product for you, um, uh, because this is generally used for technicians. Um, and I'm going to take the battery out, by the way. So it's generally um, it's something that technicians use, and uh, they're pretty familiar with it, or should be. If you're an up-and-coming technician, you should be. Um, maybe not as much as in the past where I think every technician had one of these and everybody knew what it's about. Um, but um, anyway, it has two screws. Am I turning this? There we go. So 
So it comes apart. Of course, you got to be careful because you have the wires going to the two terminals that you use for your uh, butt set. Okay, your test set. Some people call it test set. I don't know. It's a butt set. And if you want to change to the duct bill, duct bill just pulls out and the duct bill goes in and snaps in. It's kept in place by the case. So I'm going to put this aside for now because I'm going to show you uh, another one. I don't know if it's a competitor. It's basically a competitor. I'm going to show you the difference in the, the two. So let's take apart this so you can see the inside when I start doing the competitors. One. Okay, so this is what they look like inside. You just have a receiver and a transmitter. That's basically what it is. It's this uh, oscillator. It's, it's given that sign, but it's given it in such a frequency that it can be picked up by the, uh, uh, by the tone. And pro, I mean by the pro. You know, it's an interesting thing is years ago, I was training technicians, I mean decades, decades ago, and this guy desperately wanted to be a telephone tech, and I was training him and everything else. And uh, so I sent him out to do an install, and uh, he was having some problems getting the phone system to work, and then he came back and he said he needed a new um, toner. And I said, why, what's wrong with your toner? And I looked at it and it was all like black and and sooty and everything else and burned up and I said well what were you doing and he says I was checking the continuity of the 110 circuit and I said what are you nuts uh, he actually cut wire and stuck it on the end of these two and then he stuck it into the outlet and of course it destroyed the tone um, um, I don't think he understood the uh, the process uh, that's obviously this is only used for low voltage so you don't want to, to use it any other way now I want to point out some things here so we have this is what cable supply sells along with some little extra accessories that we're going to talk about but this is what cable supply sells and um, we sell it on Amazon at least now we do it so who knows next week or six months from now if we continue but we definitely sell it on our website so it comes with a case, comes with Tone Pro, um, and at the same time it comes with a little extra uh, stuff that can help you. It's just nice extras. You don't have to think about it. Now we're going to look at the competitor uh, stuff. So this is Greenlee. Greenlee is a great company, absolutely fine. Uh, I don't much appreciate this case. This is not as nice as this case where things can just slide right in very easily. Box goes on your hip. And of course it can go in your toolbox. What I don't like about Greenlee is this, this, this case. I mean, it's, it's just a regular case. It doesn't really hold anything and you gotta make sure you stuff everything in. But this is the tone and probe. And I'm gonna do a comparison between the two. And of course, it looks exactly the same. And it does come with a duck bill. And look at that, it's exactly the same. And of course, the same thing here. They're exactly the same. Of course, if you look at the front, you'll see they're exactly the same. Well, sometimes, you know, things that look exactly the same on the outside don't necessarily look the same on the inside. This has a little more features where it looks at RJ11 and RJ14. Not as necessary today as it used to be years ago, but it's nice to have it. Does continuity. This uh, does tone R shorts and that's it. Well that's fine. You notice this has two LEDs up here uh, and this one has one and you know they're used for different things. Now this comes with a little e lanyard and that's great. That's actually helpful. Uh, and this does not. So mine that I sell on Amazon, and we sell Greenly too, by the way, but this one that we feature on Amazon and we feature on our website does not come with a lanyard. And I'll tell you how you overcome that and, and why it's not that important. So let's open them up and let's take a look at uh, what they look like inside. 
So if you look at the back, where is my back? Somewhere around here. It's almost exactly the same. Different color, almost exactly the same. So let's take a look inside. And this is the reason why is a lot of manufacturers out there manufacture the exact same tone and probe. So here's the inside. You can see the difference. There's a lot more going on on the one that we offer. And by the way, our price is, I think, a lot less. I don't know if it's half, but it's a lot less. Um, there is a hole where that other LED goes, and that's Greenlee. This is what we offer. But everything else seems to be exactly the same. Even the color of the cables, if you can see in there, yellow, yellow and green and red, black and everything else, it's all the same. Same switch, you can see the switch, same switch, same manufacturer, same uh, uh, relief, uh, stress relief. Um, same ends. So we're de basically dealing, if anything, um, uh, this one, the no-name brand um, that we offer, our, our cable supply brand, is actually has more going on inside than this does. So just an idea. Switches are in the same place, everything else. Let's look at the, the inside of this one. So my point is, as we're going through this, is you're going to pay a lot for a name, and it's made by the same manufacturer. Um, and it should not be a, it should be a decision like, you know, what's the best deal? You want to pay more for a name? You want to pay less for a name? Or I mean, you want to pay, you know, get the same thing but pay less. I personally rather have less. Where is I gotta keep one? Of course I just noticed something on this kind of interesting. It's the longest screws on earth. So, I don't know, the different, one of the differences, even though there's room in here for that butt set attachment that you see um, here, you can see the difference. The no name brand has the butt set attachment there, are the screws where you attach your, your alligator clips from your uh, test set. Um, this one does not. Seems like the plastic is pretty much the same. It's both nine volts, and then you have um, the circuit board. Now, in this case, maybe the circuit board's flipped over, so it might be the same underneath. Um, it does not appear, but it might be the same underneath. Um, so it seems to me to be almost the exact same, almost, or is the exact same. Um, the thing is, as as the competitors, the two competitors seem to have exactly the same uh, type of thing. Now I will admit that the speaker seems to have a bigger magnet on it. I don't know if that makes a difference. It has a bigger magnet. So here's the difference between the two. So you get more features with the tone, uh, the multi-purpose tone. You get, um, looks like the exact same thing maybe with a bigger speaker. Uh, from the uh, the probe, but in this case, on ours that, that we brand, um, it's the uh, uh, the butt set uh, thing can fit right there. Um, and this system has been out for gosh, been out for like 20, 30 years. Uh, there's not much difference between the competitors. The biggest difference I see is the fact that ours is about half the price because it has its no name brand. So you have to decide which you want, which one you want, whether you want the one that's a name brand, um, which has the same or in this case, less um, parts, less flexibility and capabilities. This is the Greenlee and this is ours.
That's the difference between two. Looks like they're made by the same manufacturer, by the way. Um, or you buy the name brand. Uh, of course, at the same time, I also like the difference between the, the pouches. And um, uh, I don't much care for this kind of general purpose uh, pouch compared to this. Uh, that's easier to put away, you know, with the other features. So I want to show you one last thing and what I do and um, uh, what will help you if you're out in the field. And that is the way I set mine up many, many years ago uh, was like this. Um, and it still works, by the way. It's a great system. They work forever. It also has the two lights, so it's probably more along the lines of this one than it is, uh, you know, that one. So I'm going to put Greenlee aside now. I'll put it back together later. But I want to show you uh, mine. Now one of the things I did, this has a lanyard like the Greenlee, and, I, and this is the only use I found for it, is I take a small tie wrap and I tie wrap there so when it's hung up uh, on the wall, when it's hung up on the wall and it's you know being pulled down, it's not pulling on the wires, it's pulling on the, on, uh, the little uh, lanyard there. And then, of course, I never seem to ever want six foot or whatever it is, three foot of um, a cable. So I take mine and I put a little tie wrap around there. Now, what I'm going to, what I would think you should do is uh, different than mine because every once in a while I do have to cut that off. Uh, I just put one of these on here. You see it? And uh, then when you're not using that amount of cable, um, the black red cable you just take it you wrap it up and you put it around here and then it allows me time obviously it becomes painfully obvious what I'm doing and then your excess cable is not dangling all over the place so that makes it really nice and uh, of course when it comes to this extra you know, you don't have a lanyard, well, just use a tie wrap. And the way I do this tie wrap, if I had my scissors over there, I'm gonna show you how to, my assistant is getting my scissors. So I put a tie wrap here, and I've already tie wrapped it around here. And so what I'm gonna do I wrap it this way. And then the pressure is on here. And of course you just snip it off with your scissors. I don't know, you gotta give yourself a little more line in there if you're gonna tighten it down really tight. And then that takes the stress off your off your toner. So when you're when you got it plugged into the wall and it's hanging with the battery in there and everything else, you know it's uh, yeah, it takes the stress off the cable here and and off the circuit board. Um, you know, just curious. Let's open up my uh, one that I got probably I don't know some time in the 90s. Again, these things have been around forever. So this is my old one. I hope the battery's not crusted because I really have not done cabling in the last couple of years. I usually loan out my tools and never get them back. Okay, here goes live on YouTube. Looks pretty close to what it was before. I like the two lights. This one, of course, has a battery in it. Everything else looks so. This is my old one from 20 years ago. This is the one I'm selling today on the internet, and it doesn't look hardly any different to me. Even the circuit board looks the same, if you can see it. Even the circuit board looks the same. Of course, obviously, it has a battery in there compared to Greenlee. So, this is Greenlee. This is my old one. And uh, uh, this is the one I'm selling today. So, let's 
electricity circuit board is a lot different. The same, but a lot different. And of course, it only has one LED, rather than these have two. So, uh, to me, if I was buying it, and of course, um, I would buy the one that had the more features, you know, the, the butt set, uh, test set connections on the end, and uh, the two LEDs, and uh, everything else being the same pretty much in a better case, but it's going to be a lot less in price. So if you're thinking about a um, tone and probe, these are the standard tone and probes that are out there. There's a lot of other fancy ones, you know, that have fancy colors to them and have all different shapes and everything else. But these are um, uh, the, the standard. It really is the standard out there in the industry. And I'm sure someone will disagree with me and send me a text along those lines. But these are really the standard. And um, this is what I would have in my toolbox if I was a technician today. Again, here it is. This is the one I would uh, uh, buy. And of course, we're going to add that little um, uh, hook and loop, not a Velcro. It's hook and loop. Um, I don't want to imply that it is from Velcro. That's a different manufacturer, but it is a hook and loop. And it works really well. And I had one sitting here. here it is. So I'll send you one of these. It's kind of nice to have. I'm sure you can buy it for a few cents yourself, but you know, if I send it to you, you don't have to go look for it. So that's what we offer. Um, and uh, this is my old one. I got to put back together with my butt set if I ever use it again in my life. And uh, this is uh, the competitors. Um, love Greenly, but I'm not going to pay the extra money for the name. Um, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, enjoy it and uh, please buy uh, this product from us either on Amazon or our website uh, at cablesupply.com and uh, when you buy these things from me you enable us to do more videos and more product research and and uh, be able to offer these things to you um, and uh, please like us on uh, Facebook and follow us on uh, follow one one follow one like I forget which Facebook and uh, and uh, YouTube so uh, the more uh, uh, of those I get you know I enjoy that but on top uh, better than even doing either of that is buying from us and I hope you're having a great day again this is Jim Gibson from cablesupply.com see you on the next video Hi, this is Jim with Cablesupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from Cablesupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with Cablesupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David, signing out. You stay classy, Internet. <laughs>